Hi, good evening everyone. Welcome to the live Bible study of Metanoia Christian Ministry. And today is Monday. I am here with Brother Ron and Brother Eric. Good evening, guys. Uh, hi, good evening a lot. Hello, everybody. Yeah, sorry, we're a bit late. Had some technical difficulties, but uh, we're here now. And um, we hope that you are all doing well by God's grace. So hello. And uh, yeah. Ano na naman? Monday na naman. <laughs> Oo nga eh. Ang araw. Ang ah, bilis na araw. Nag-uulan kanina. Oo nga. Oo nga. Sobra. You know? And then if you've been out, you'll see sobrang traffic na rin. It's sobra. parang hindi nga lockdown. Di ba? <laughs> Marami ng tao sobra. Sobra. Malabas. But yeah, you know, um, you know, just some announcements before we start. We are inching our way to opening the ministry center uh, very soon. But yes, of course, we will still uh, abide by kung ano man yung mga rules and regulations set by the local government. You know, so even if the ministry center would open soon, I am still not sure if we are allowed to have any services or whatnot, but definitely we'll uh, be updating during our live uh, Bible studies. You know, regularly, maga update kami dito. So, yeah, you know, I'm excited for the word tonight and I'm excited to just to be edified and, and encouraged by God's word. But before all that, let's just open up with the, some praise and worship and just give thanks to the Lord. All right, let's uh, worship the Lord. Did I say set up club? All right. Ating awitan ng Panginoon. Sorrow and my pain 
and happiness that this world can never ever give I found in you when I first believed now that I'm with you you wipe my tears and let your love remain now I'm with you you took away the sorrow and my pain peace and happiness that this world can never ever give I found in you when I first believed Peace and happiness that this world can never ever give I found in you when I first believed I found in you when I Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And welcome again, everybody, to our live Bible study. So hello, hello. And uh, I pray that all of you are well by God's grace. And um, yeah, you know, so we hope that you're doing well. Excited though for tonight's message. It's napaganda ng, ng title natin dito. <laughs> diba? You know? Yeah. Diba? Ang ganda ng title natin ngayong gabi. Kasi... You know, I think this is something that a lot of people, a lot of brothers and sisters watching this, you can relate with this. I'm sure na marami sa inyo ngayon, may kanya-kanya tayong pinagdadaanan. Yeah. Um, you know, ano yun eh? Um, wala, habang nandito sa tayo, tayo sa mundo, may pagsubok eh. You know, huh. it's, not, it's not God's plan. It's not God's will or God's perfect will. You know, God is not allowing it. It's just, nakasa fallen world tayo. First John 5.19, we... Live in a fallen world, and this whole world is under the power of the evil one. Diba? Yeah. Sa NASB. So, you know, may, may laban, may pagsubok talaga, pero hindi yun yung focus natin. Yung focus natin, yung dulo ng title na panalo ka. So, Amen. yeah, hindi ko na patatagalin to. I just want, I want to hear what, uh, what the Lord has to say through Pastor Macho tonight. All right. Sige, start na tayo. Sige, ang title natin for tonight is Sa Bawat Laban at Pagsubok, Panalo Ka. At tama yung sinabi ni Brother Ron, ang focus natin dito, yung salitang panalo ka. Kasi panalo ka na eh. Panalo na tayo. Napaka-importante yung alam natin yan. Kasi siyempre, marami naman dumadana sa atin yan. Sa araw-araw, you know, yan yung nangyayari sa atin eh. I-share ko lang yun. Ano. Ayan. Ayan. Yan ang nangyari sa atin. Eh. May laban. Eh. May laban talaga. May pagsubok. Lahat tayo dumadanas yan. Kanya-kanyang season yan. Eh. May season ka ng tagtuyot. May season ka ng taglagas. May season ka rin ng tag uh, imabunga ka. Ganyan talaga yan. Dumada- dinadanas natin yan. But tonight, w- w- my, my, my goal for tonight is uh, I want you to know, I, I want you to be reminded na kahit ano pang klaseng problema, kahit ano pang klaseng pagsubok ang dinadanas mo ngayon, ang dinadaanan mo ngayon, Bago, puman, bago pa man dumating yan sa buhay mo, bago mo pa naranasan yan, panalo ka na. At yan, kailangan by the end of this teaching, masasabi mo yan at talagang buong-buo sa loob mo yan na panalo na ako. Hindi, hindi mo dapat tiniinda yan. Marami kasi sa atin, actually, ay, you know, ay, syempre, sino ba naman ang gusto maghirap? Sino ba naman ang gusto ng ganyang laban? Wala naman din may gusto. Eh, diba? Natural, ayaw natin ng pipisil, ayaw natin ng papagod. But you see, doing the will of God, does not necessarily mean that you are going the easy way. Kung susundin mo kalooban niya, hindi ibig sabihin naman nun na, alam mo yun, na smooth na. Talagang may ano eh, may opposition, kaya may persecution. Dadaanan mo talaga yan. So hindi man ibig sabihin na atras ka dahil ayaw mong mahirapan. So madali man o mahirap ang laban, hindi na yun ang issue. Kasi kahit ano pa yan, laban ka at lalaban ka at tatayo ka tatayuan mo yan. Bakit? Kasi panalo ka na. Because we follow God and because we have Jesus and Jesus is in us. Actually, palagi naman tayong may laban. Hindi nawawala yan. Lalong-lalo na yung laban natin sa isip. Kaya nga, di ba, we renew our mind. Kasi ang madalas na laban nandito sa isip. You know, against the wiles and the lies of the devil. 
And so the Bible said, what does the Bible said about that? He said, be stand and be strong. Here's my first verse. Ephesians 6, 10 to 12. Saming ganon sa New King James. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. That you may be able to stand. Alright? Pag tatanggol mo, i-maintain mo yung ating stance. Uh, Wiles of the devil, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Yun naman ang ginagawa ng kalaban eh. Pinipilit tayong guguluhin, pinipilit niya tayong lilituhin, pinipilit niya tayong makonfuse, pinipilit niya pababain yung loob natin. Yan ang ginagawa niya. So ang kailan natin tayuan. Kailan natin tayuan. Basahin ko ito sa message translation. Ha. And that about wraps it up. God is strong, and ang sabi niya, and He wants you strong. So take everything the Master has set out for you, well-made weapons of the best materials, and put them to use so you will be able to stand up to everything the devil throws your way. That is the armor of God. And we all know that. Hindi natin dadaan yung armor of God, pero alam ko, alam nyo ng lahat ito. This is no weekend war that we'll walk away from and forget about in a couple of hours. This is for keeps, a life or death fight to the finish against the devil and all his angels. Ano ba tong wiles na ito? Ano ba tong, ano ba tong mga ito? Ito yung mga strategies ng kaaway, yung mga methods ng kaaway na binabato sa atin. Ano ba yan? Eh, wala namang ibang ginagawa ang kaaway. Wala namang ibang methods yan. It's all lies and deception. Puro kasinungalingan. Kailangan alam nyo ito na ito lang ang kaya niyang gawin. Ang kasinungalingan. Kaya lang siya nakakagalaw kasi pag yan kasinungalingan yan, ipinaniwalaan natin. Wala naman siya ibang kayang gawin eh, kundi magsinungaling lang. Kaya napaka-importante na alam natin yung identity natin. We know who we are in Christ. Yan ang kailangan malam malaman natin at alam na buong buo yung revelation natin tungkol dyan para kaya natin ipamuka sa kanya, huy, pinagagagawa mo. Panalo na ako. Tigil-tigilan mo, tumigil ka. Tapag ganyan tayo, ganyan ang asta natin sa kanya. Kasi wala talaga siyang binatbat. You have to know this by heart. Jesus stripped Satan of all his power. Kaya puro kasinungalingan na lang kaya niyang gawin. Pag pinaliwalaan mo, dun lang siya nakakagalaw. And in turn, nagiging stronghold yun. So, kailangan, dun pa lang sa, 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 dun pa lang sa paniniwala, kailangan alam mo na kung anong tinatayuan mo. Pag kang magpapadala dun sa mga kung ano-anong kasinungalingan na hatid niya, na maguluhan ka, magduda ka, tayuan mo yung salita ng Diyos. Kapag may problema ka, magbabato ng lay yan eh. Para imbis sa tayuan mo yung identity mo, imbis sa tayuan mo yung promises ni God, ang gusto niya, magmukmuk ka, pag, magmukmuk ka, hanggang makondem ka, hanggang, you know, pag may mali kang desisyon mo na, well, for example, may mali kang, may, mali, may meron kang naging desisyon, na somehow may confirmation naman ni God, ginawa, ginawa mo naman from the beginning. Kaso ang problema, nagkaroon ng konting setback. Pag nagkaroon ng konting setback yan, nagkaroon ng konting bump, ang gagawin ni Satan, papagdududahin ganyan ngayon. Mali ka. Hindi si God yung narilig mo. O eh di dapat wala ka dito ngayon. So ganyan ang gagawin mo. Gagawin niya. Hanggang sa makondem ka, aayaw ka na. You know guys, walang laban na madali. Alright? Ang kailangan mo lang tayuan. Kung ano narinig mo. At tayuan kung ano promises ng Panginoon. Kailangan mo lang tayuan niya. Dahil yun ang sinabi ni Jesus. Kasi hindi titigil lang ang padala ng kaaway. Pipilitan ka niyang kumatras. Hanggat kaya ka niyang pagdudahin, pagdududahin ka niya. Kaya kahit na totoo yung narinig mo at alabong by heart. You know, ito yung sinabi ng Panginoon. I'm, I'm gonna stand on this. Pero ang gagawin niya, pag dinadayan ganun doon, hindi naman siya yan. So tingnan mo, ba't ganito? Eh, tandaan nyo, may opposition at may opposition. Yan ginagawa ng kalaban eh. Kasi kung walang opposition at wala ka nararamdaman na opposition o persecution, na kung magtanga ka, baka mamaya, kasabay mo yung kalaban. Kaya matuwa ka pag may ganyan nangyayari. Second Timothy 3.12, sabi, Yes, and everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. So if you're doing the will of God and you're, and, and you're having a godly life, talagang babanatan ka ng kalaban. Yan yung persecution. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng persecution? Ang persecution means persistent annoyance or harassment. So, inaharas ka, iinising ka. Yan yung persecution. Yan yung persecution. Hostility and ill treatment. Ipukulitin ka na, ay talagang hanggang maburyong ka na sa, sa ginagawa mo, kahit na nasa tama ka nung una, buburyongin ka ng kalaban, pag nagpalala ka ngayon, doon ka, dun, ka ngayon madadala. Kaya kailangan alam mo kung anong tinatayuan mo. E sa pang, uh, definition ng persecution, a program or campaign to exterminate, to drive away, to subjugate, 
Subjugate means to dominate or control. And this is what Satan is doing. Yan ang ginagawa na sa akin. When we are being persecuted. Pinipilit na tayo makontrol sa pamamagitan ng... Kasi nung yan. It's just lies. Kapag ka pinaniwalaan mo yun, doon ka na nakokontrol. Kasi op, naniwala ka na. O sige, dahan-dahan. O sige, op, naniwala siya. Dahan ka magugulat ka. Gina Ayun na, pinaiikot ka na naman niya sa kamay niya. Ganun nangyayari. And when you hear the word torture, yan mga torture na yan, torment, yan mga torment na yan, yan persecution yan. Pag, na, pag, pag nakakaranas ka ng pangaapi, o pinagkakaisahan ka, these are all from the enemy. Para ayawan mo si God. Para ayawan mo yung faith mo. Para sabi mo, wala namang silbi to. Wala namang nangyari sa akin dito. Puro, puro ganito. Yan, yan, yan. Kaya, kaya tayo na persecute Sa trabaho, sa negosyo, sa lahat ng areas. Pag nakakaranas tayo ng ganito, main goal ng kaaway, umayaw ka. Yun ang gusto. Umayaw ka. At kung ano mang word na naitinom sa puso mo, matanggal lahat yan. Kaya dumarating ang persecution. Kasi pag umayaw ka, di mo maaabot yung kalooban ng Panginoon. Hindi mo mararating. Yung kalooban niya, which is good, acceptable, and perfect. Yun ang, yun ang pinipila ng kaaway na marating natin. Which is why sabi ng Panginoon, pag nakakaranas ka ng hirap, tayuan mo kung sino ka. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, that the Lord is saying to you right now, Jesus is saying to you right now, kasama mo ako anak. Hindi mo lang ako kasama. I am in you. I abide in you. I'm here with you. Let's fight this. Kasama mo siya. Kasama mo ang Panginoon. Sabi sa 2 Timothy 2.3 You therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. I already taught you about endurance. It means, ito kasing endurance ito. Pag sinasabing endure, hindi ito yung pagtitiis. Ito yung, tinata yung endurance kasi yung patience na tinatawag. For example, kaya nga faith and patience inherit the promises. If ito yung faith mo, ang nag-establish ng faith mo, for your faith to be consistent is yung endurance, yung patience. Kapag sabihin, kung ano yung pananampalataya mo ngayon, kung ano yung paniniwala mo ngayon, kinabukasan, kung meron mang dumarating na persecution, kung meron mang dumarating na winds and waves, dahil dun sa patience, dahil dun sa endurance, umi-straight yan. Hindi bababa yung faith mo, hindi aayaw, steady. Yan ang nag-establish nag kung ano yung paniniwalaan mo. Kung ang sinabi ng Panginoon na tinayuan mo ngayon, bukas sa makalawa, tinatayuan mo pa rin yan. Hanggang sa susunod na buwan, hanggang sa susunod na buwan, tatayuan at tatayuan mo pa rin yan. That is how you endure hardship. And it says here, endure hardship as a good soldier of Christ. I remember my season of being a grab driver, naalala ko noon. You know, hindi, hindi mahirap, hindi, hindi madali. Mahirap, pero kailangan kong daanan. Kailangan kong daanan kasi marami din ako natututunan. Sobrang dami ko natutunan noon. Uh, you can check out my teaching on the fruit of the Spirit sa so patience pinaliwanag ka naman maigit it's about the endurance kasi sa, sa mga bagay na mga dinadaanan mo na mahirap na may may paraan at nakikita mo doon gumaganda yun kasi may mga bagay tayong natututunan Amen? So, so paano ba? Paano ba mag-endure sa hard times? Pag na-depress ka pag sunod-sunod ang bato ng kaaway persecution kaliwat kanan kaliwat kanan sa bahay sa bahay hanggang sa trabaho may nararanasan ang ganito How do we endure? Paano ba? How else? God's word We renew our mind, which is why tonight, I, I pray na ma-remind kayo that we be reminded that the battle has already been won. Pag ito kasi nasa isip natin, you will have the confidence na tayoan yan. Alam mong, panalo ko eh, bakit ako kakabahan? Panalo ko eh, bakit ako mag-iisip ng ganito? Kahit saan mang laban, pag alam mong panalo ka na, di ka kakabahan. Hindi ka magpapanik. Hindi ka mag-aalala eh. Naalala ko dati, parang nakikita ko maganda illustration dito. Naalala ko dati, may mga pelikula sila, Joey De Leon, di ba? Ayaw ko kung naalala niyo yun. Kung doon sa mga nakaabot, ano? may mga pelikula sila noon, tapos si Noel Unga Ayala, di ba yung unano. Tapos, di ba, pagka sususuntok siya, tapos hawak-hawak yung hawak-hawak yung ulo niya, hindi umaabot siya. Actually, yun si Satan eh. Suntok lang siya ng suntok, pero hindi umaabot dahil hawak na ni Jesus yung ulo niya. Wala ka, wala, talo ka na eh. Ganun ang nangyayari Okay, wala, wala. Yung suntok, hindi umaabot. Hanggat importante, hindi ka magpapadala at hindi ka maniniwala doon sa mga sinasabi niya. Yan ang perfect illustration na masasabi ko. Wala siya nagagawa sa atin na pagtagumpayan na ni Jesus ang laban. Kaya puro lies lang ang kaya niyang iba to. Ngayon, kaya yun nga, paulit-ulit ko sinasabi kanina, binanggit ko na rin, kaya lang siya nakakagalaw kasi naniniwala tayo doon sa kasinungalingan na binato niya. Kaya paano mo ba malalaman ko anong kasinungalingan? Siyempre, sa pamamagitan ng katotohanan. Kasi kung hindi mo alam ang katotohanan, paano mo malalaman ang kasinungalingan yun? Kaya napaka-importante pa rin yung God's Word. Napaka-importante pa rin yung relationship with the Holy Spirit so that we may be able to know kung alin yung confirmation malalang of the malito. Dito tama. This is not of the Word. This is not of God. Nalalaman natin. 
Kaya ngayong gabing ito, let us be reminded. Ulitin ko ulit, panalo ka na. Kailangan kaya mo sabihin to sa'yo ngayon. Kaya sabihin mo na, gusto mo siyo, siyo, panalo na ako. Kung ano man yung nasa harapan mo ngayon na, na iniinda mo, panalo na ako. Wala ka. Kahit ano pa yung dinadaanan mo ngayon, panalo ka na. Amen? Sabi ito 2 Corinthians 2.14 Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ. Ano sabi? Now thanks be to God who always, hindi sinabing who minsan, who sometimes, one time, three times, hindi. Ang sabi nito, who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of His knowledge in every place. This is so powerful. Pag ito na unumahan mo, tayo tindihan mo, teka muna, palagi. Palagi tayong panalo. Basahin nyo sa Tagalog. Ha? Ngunit salamat sa Diyos at lagi niya kaming isinasama. Take a look at this. Isinasama sa parada ng tagumpay ni Kristo. Nakikita nyo ba ito? Nasa parada ka. Diba kung nakakita na kayo ng mga sagala o ano, di ba? Pinaparada yung mga marina yung Lena o kung ano man. Ayun, makaway-kaway ka na lang kasi panalo ka na eh. Panalo ka na. Sasa, panalo ka na. Wala, wala ka ng ibang gagawin. Ayun, ang ginagawa mo na, tinatayo mo na lang yung pinalalungan ni Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ng ano? Yun ang sinabi. Sa pamamagitan ng dahil sa aming pakikipag-isa sa Kanya. At sa pamamagitan namin, ito pa the best dito, sa pamamagitan namin, natin ha, ay pinalalaganap ng Diyos sa lahat ng dako ng mundo ang mabangong halimuya ng pagkakakilala sa Kanya. Napakalalim na mga ginapit na salita rito, pero kung titignan nyo, sa pamamagitan natin, dun kumakalat ang mabangong halimuya ng pagkakakilala natin kay Kristo. Dahil nakikita ng tao, natagumpay tayo. Kapag nakikita ng ibang tao ang buhay natin, nare-reflect gayon na ganyan pala ang bunga ng pakikipag-isa kay Kristo. Dahil nakikita nila, bakit ganyan? Parang wala kang problema. Parang ang buhay mo, yung kahit mahirap ang buhay, kahit ngayon may mga problema, hindi alintana sa iyo. Kahit may problema, hindi halata. Bakit? Kasi di natin pinoproblema eh. Diba? Sabi ng Panginoon, seek Him and all these things shall be added to you. But mo iisipin, I just seek, I just seek him and then wisdom comes. One way or another, you'll be able to solve that whatever it is. Amen. Because we seek the Lord first. We seek him. Ibibigay niya sa atin kung paano. And then the grace that has already been made available. We just need faith, you know, to receive it. Yung grace na 'yon. At it it, it would make us active. Mas kikilos tayo, mas nalalaman natin kung anong dapat gawin. Guys, pag sinasabi kong panalo na tayo, ilang beses ko sinabi dito, yung title ng message ko tonight is Panalo Ka Na. Hindi ko sinasabi ito dahil napakaganda ng pakinggan. Hindi ko sinasabi ito dahil medyo iba yung dating. Hindi, sinasabi ko ito kasi sa puso ko alam kong panalo ako. And by the end of this teaching, I pray and that na kayong lahat dito nakikinig ngayon, kaya niyong sabihin na panalo ako. Hindi ko sinasabi ito dahil maganda ng pakinggan. You need to have this revelation na you win. Panalo ka. In Christ. At pinaniniwalaan nyo yan. Kahit ano pang bato ng kalaban na pagdudahin ka, hindi ka pa iinda. At hindi ka papayag na magduda. Diba? Pagdudahan mo na uh, magdududa ka. Pagdudahan mo duda. Pero ang Diyos, pagdudahan niya, sigurado to, katotohanan niyan. Amen? Huwag mong papayagan na, na, na makonfuse ka o magpadala ka sa kasinungalingan niya. Kasi panalo ka na. Sabi sa Isaiah 54.17, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. Kahit ano pa yung iba to sa'yo, di magtatagumpay yan. Kahit anong klaseng weapon pa yan. Wala naman sa ibang weapon, kundi kasinungalingan nga. O sabihin mo na yung kasinungalingan nga, isang anyon ng kasinungalingan. O isang kung ano man. Hindi pa rin magpo-prosper yan. Kahit ano pa yan, kahit sabihin mo, hindi pa rin magpo-prosper yan. Kahit minsan nautukang konti, hindi pa rin magpo-prosper yan. Lalo-lalo na syempre, we get reminded, we be reminded of who we are in Christ. Hindi never magpo-prosper yan. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. So every time na may bulong na wala, hindi mo na kaya. Wala, sub-sub ka na naman. Wala, hindi ka nagagaling. Wala, hindi na ayos buhay mo. Wala, makasalanan ka. All you, all you gotta say, no, no, no. Kalokohan yan. I condemn that. I am the righteousness of God. Therefore, grace and blessing and favor surrounds me. Yan ang ibabanat mo. Yan ang sasabihin mo. 
because you know who you are in Christ. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Amen. This verse, itong mga passages na to, gusto kong namnamin natin ngayong gabing ito and maging totoo sa atin ito. Kasi totoo ito. This is the word. Kaya binigay sa atin ito ng Panginoon para matayuan, para, mag- para malabanan lahat ng mga pakananang kaaway. at mga patibong niya. Sabi sa message translation, ganda nito sa message translation, but no weapon that can hurt you has ever been forged. Any accuser who takes you to court will be dismissed as a liar. This is what God's servants can expect. I'll see to it that everything works out for the best, God's decree. Ang ganda nito, I'll see to it that everything works out for the best. Yan ang ginagawa lagi ng Panginoon. Kahit na anong bato ng kaaway, kahit na napunta ka minsan sa dilim dahil sa kagagawan ng mundo, dahil sa kagawan ng kalaban, at minsan sa kagagawan mo, ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, I'll see to it that everything works out for the best. Sabi sa Romans 8.28, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. We love God. We honor God. I know that we all here, lahat tayo rito ngayon, we love God. And so, may dinadaan ng kamatindi ngayon, parang wala ka nang makitang pag-asa, parang hirap na hirap ka na. You know what? Palokohan yan because God's gonna work it, work it together for good. Sumablay ka, may nakaaway ka dahil di mo sinasadya, nagpadala ka ng konti sa flesh. God's gonna work it together for good. Bad decision in marriage, bad decision at work, or in, sa, sa, sa kung ano man, may maling decision ka nagawa. God's gonna work it together for good. Guys, about maling desisyon nyo, nasabihin na natin sarili nyo, nasunod nyo, God's still gonna work it together for good. Amen? Not just because you love God, not just because we love God, but because He loves us. Ganun niya tayong kamahal. So huwag kang makondem kapag may mga nagawa kang in the, in, sa tingin mong sumaply ka, may pagkakamali, lapses. God's gonna work it together for good. That's how much He loves us. So what the enemy and your flesh meant for evil, God can always turn it for good. How? By the Holy Spirit. By teaching you. By building you up. By strengthening you. Guys, sa bawat pagsubok at persecution, trials, tribulation, o kung ano pa man na pinukul ng kalaban at mundo, natututo tayo sa bawat pagsubok na hinaharap natin. We become a better us after that. Ang dami natin natututunan, ang dami natin na babago. Even sa mga ugali natin, sa mga, sa mga naging kaugalian na natin, nababago natin yan dahil sa mga dumarating na ganyan. We are able to know that we are able to know better the next time it hit us, alam na natin gagawin natin. Kung, kung nagpauto tayo one time, syempre hindi na, ta- ba, hindi na ba pwede sa susunod dyan. Alam nga nang papayag kang magpauto ulit sa kanya. Diba? We are better equipped. Which is why it is very important that we know our identity. We must know who we are in Christ. Kasi pag hindi, pag may nangyari mga ganyan, yung mga maling desisyon na yan, yung mga lapses na yan, sabay pukol ng lies ng kaaway sa'yo, condemnation yan eh. Hanggang sa magdedwell ka na dun sa maling desisyon mo, sa maling nagawa mo, nawawala na yung focus mo kay Jesus. Nawawala na yung ginawa ni Jesus para sa'yo. So hindi na nagpo-flow yung grace. Kasi nag-focus ka na dun sa kaya mong gawin. Yan ang ginagawa ng kalaban, our adversary, yung mawala ang focus natin kay Jesus. It says on 1 Peter 5.8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion. So sabi, walks about like. Hindi siya roaring lion, hindi siya lion. Mukha lang, nagbumukha lang. Nag-aas ng lion lang. Puro roar lang, puro roar lang yan. Puro panggulat lang yan. Panindak lang yan. Pero kung tutusin, walang ipin yan. Puro pananakot. Puro kasinungalin yan. Seeking whom he may devour. Kaya nga, seeking whom he may devour. Kasi he cannot devour everyone. Nagahanap siya nung pwede niya lang i-devour. Doon sa maniniwala sa kasinungalin yan niya. Doon sa, mag- doon sa iinda. Doon sa panggulat niya. Doon sa iinda. Doon sa panakot niya. You see, hindi sinabi na to devour everyone. Di ba? Nagahanap siya eh. Pag nakabing with siya, ayun, jackpot siya. Then he devours. And I believe in the name of Jesus na lahat tayo dito, every time na naghahanap ng ma-devour yung si Satan, lumalagpas sa ating lahat. 
because he knows and he sees that we all know dito sa lahat na nakikinig sa atin dito we all know who we are in Christ kaya hindi siya uubra in the name of Jesus amen you should say amen to that hindi siya uubra sa atin panalo tayo basahin ko sa message translation uh, 5 8 to 11 naman keep a cool head stay alert the devil is poised to pounce and would like nothing better than to catch you napping. Keep your guard up. You're not the only ones plunged into these hard times. It's the same with Christians all over the world. So kung ano man yung dinadanas mo, parehas na dinadanas din ng ibang Kristiyano yan. Parehas din nilang dinadanas yan. Pero dahil sa alam mo kung sino ka in Christ, nakakayanan mo at napagtatagumpayan mo. Amen? Madami rin dumadanas yan. All you gotta know is this. Sabi ganito, so keep a firm grip on the faith. Keep a firm grip on the promises of God. Keep a firm grip on the blessing that is already upon you. Keep a firm grip on who you are in Jesus. As he is, so are you in this world. Keep a firm grip on your faith. That is what Jesus, that is what the Bible, that is what the word of God is saying to you right now. At sabi niya, the suffering won't last forever. Kapatid, I really have no idea what you are going through right now, but God is saying to you right now, yan ang sinasabi niya ngayon sa iyo, the suffering won't last forever. Kung meron kang nahihirapan ka ngayon, merong hindi maganda nangyayari sa inyo, the suffering won't last forever. Gulong-gulo ka, pagod na pagod ka na, God is saying it's not gonna last forever. Lahat ng pagsubok, trials, tribulation, may hangganan yan. Kahit itong pandemic na ito, may hangganan ito matatapos ito it won't last forever it and then it won't as next verse it won't be long before this generous god who has great plans for us in christ eternal and glorious plans they are will have you put together and on your feet for good he gets the last word yes he does nasa kanya mo rin salita so hindi pe pwedeng habang buhay ganyan it won't last forever so I know these, itong verse na ito, it spoke to you right now. It's God speaking to you. Huwag kang mawala ng pag-asa. Huwag kang manghinaan ng loob. God is in you. 1 Corinthians 10.13 Wala pang pagsubok na dumating sa inyo na hindi nararanasan ng ibang tao. It's written all over the Bible. Hindi lang ikaw dumadanas yan. Kababasa lang natin. Hindi natin dinadanas mo ngayon. Okay, dinadanas yun ng iba. Ang importante dito, ano? tapat ang Diyos at hindi niya ipahihintulot na kayo'y subukin ng higit sa inyong makakaya. Now, to, to clear this up, hindi siya ang sumusubok sa iyo. Kaya nga sinasabi kayo'y subukin ng sino? Ng mundo, ng kalaban, at ng tao. Yan ang sumusubok sa iyo. Pero sabi niya ganun, pagka ikay nasubok, anong sabi niya? Uh, yun? Hindi niya papayagan na pag dumating yung pagsubok, yun? sa halip, sa halip na pagdating ng pagsubok, bibigyan niya kayo ng lakas upang makayanan ito at ng paraan upang malampasan ito. So hindi niya papayagan na every time na dumarating yung pagsubok, agad-agad nagbibigay siya ng sagot. Agad-agad sinasabi niya sa iyo solusyon, eto. Ang problema, kaya minsan tumatagal tayo doon sa pagsubok na yun kasi nagbibigay siya ng sagot, nagbibigay siya ng way out mo, ayaw mong tanggapin. Ay, parang mas pinipili mo, nagawa mo ng sarili mong paraan. Nakuha niyo? Yun ang nangyayari kaya matag minsan tumatagal. Uh, minsan tumatagal yung pagsubok kasi nga hindi natin sinusunod. Kung ano yung sinasabi niya, nagbibigay na siya ng sagot. Ang problema hindi natin tinatanggap. Amen? So talaga ba? Talaga bang tinutulungan niya tayo? Talaga bang, talaga bang ginagawa niya yan? Talaga bang binibigyan niya tayo ng solusyon? Yes, he does. Sabi sa Mark 9, 22 to 23, this was the time yung, yung, ama, yung, yung father, uh, he took his son to Jesus. Kasi uh, may sinasanaiba ng spirito. And then, in verse 22, sabi, The spirit often throws him into the fire or into the water, trying to kill him. Have mercy on us and help us if you can. Kasi madalas, I hope hindi tayo ganito, no? yung if you can. Ito kasi tanong dito eh. So ano sabi ni Jesus? What do you mean if I can? Jesus asked, Anything is possible if a person believes. O sinasabi ng Panginoon sa'yo, wag mong tanongin kung kaya ko. Huwag mong tanongin kung tinutulungan kita. Huwag mong tanongin kung binigay ko na lahat. And I'm giving you tuloy-tuloy ang wisdom na binibigay ko sa iyo. Huwag mong tanongin kung kaya ko. Because anything is possible if a person believes. Amen?
Yes, He can take you out of that darkness. If you haven't been born again, di ka man born again, receive Him. Amen? Yes, He's the one who lights the path. Siya yung nagbibigyan ng direction sa atin. You just need to have this revelation that Jesus is for you and not against you. Kailangan laging buo sa puso natin at sa isip natin that ang, ang backup natin, langit. Heaven is our backup. Di ka pwedeng matalo. It says in Romans 8.31, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Basahin ko sa message translation. So what do you think? With God on our side like this, how can we lose? Ganda nito. So ano sa tingin mo? Kung si God nasa atin, kung si God sa kakampi natin, paano pa tayo matatalo? So obviously, panalo tayo lagi. Amen? Tanong tayo from verse 3 to be able to drive a wedge between us and Christ's love for us. There is no way. Not trouble. Not hard times. Ito yung mga dinadaanan natin. Not hard times. Not hatred. Not even hunger. Not homelessness. Not bullying threats. Not backstabbing, backstabbing, not even the worst sins listed in Scripture. None of this phases us because Jesus loves us. Or we, sa ibang translation, we are more than conquerors. Yung sinasabi dyan. Because Jesus loves us. I'm absolutely convinced that nothing, nothing living or dead, angelic or demonic, today or tomorrow, high or low, thinkable or unthinkable, Absolutely, nothing can get between us and God's love because of the way that Jesus, our Master, has embraced us. Nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Kaya yung mga pagsubok na yan, yung mga persecution na yan, yung mga trials na yan, at kung anuman ang mga dumarating na problema at struggles sa buhay mo. Once you understand how much God loves you, hindi mo iindahin yan lalong-lalo ko siyang mamahalin. Kasi in the midst of that, in the midst of that uh, problems, in the midst of that struggle, you'll see how grace works. And you'll feel His love. Mararamdaman at mararanasan mo kung gaano ka niyang kamahal. Dahil kung kailan kang nanghihina, dun siya lalong lumalakas. Lumalakas sa buhay. Amen? Ang biyaya niya sapat na. At yung biyaya niyang yun, ang yun ang ginagamit natin upang malampasan natin lahat ng mga dinadaanan sa pamamagitan niya. Well, let's go to Revelation. And why, guys, I, I want you to see this. When I read this, sabi ko, grabe. Panalo na eh. Panalo na tayo. Revelation 12, 7 to 8. And war broke out in heaven. Especially the time, no, si Satan, di ba, nakapag-gera doon sa langit. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought. But they did not prevail. Ano daw nangyari? Nanalo ba sila? Nagtagumpay ba sila? Hindi. They did not prevail. Nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So here, ang gawin ni Satan, he decided to wage war in heaven plus some other angels nag-recruit siya. O sige tara, girahin natin. Pero nangyari, he did not prevail. Talo sila. Sabi sa verse 9. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world, he was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. So, na-cast out na sila. Along with his angels. Kumbaga, in other words, forbidden na sila ron. Pinalasa sila, sinipa na sila eh. Pinalaya sila ron, talo na sila. Sinipa siya sa heaven, bababa dito sa earth. Now, pagdating niya dito, inisip niya ngayon, ang inisip niya, okay, andito ngayon ako, nagtatry ngayon siyang gawin kung ano yung ginagawa niya dun. Ang problema, right, Ulitin ko lang ha. Sa heaven, na-kick out siya. Talo siya. Sinipa siya pababa dito. For the way na siya ron. Ang gusto niyang gawin, kung ano yung ginawa niya nung gawin niya rin dito, ang problema ito. Sayon natin. Matthew 18, 18. Truly I tell you, whatever you forbid and declare to be improper and unlawful on earth must be what is already forbidden in heaven. So kung ano man daw ang binabind natin dito here on earth must be already declared unlawful and forbidden in heaven. So kababasa lang natin, sino yung forbidden in heaven? Sino yung unlawful doon? Satan and his angels. Pagdating niya dito, iniisip niya, pwede niya gawin ulit. Ang problema, hindi niya alam. Alam ng mga Kristiyano to. 
that we have been given the authority to bind and to loose. So wala na naman. Amen? Naintindihan nyo? So what has been bounded in heaven? Sino? Satan and his angels, his demons. Ano nangyari dun? They did not prevail. So ngayon, dito sa earth, ganun din. They will not prevail because God gave us the authority. Amen? If it is already forbidden in heaven, then it's already forbidden here. Whenever Satan tries to touch your finance, I forbid you in the name of Jesus. That is what we do. When he tries to bring sickness on you, Satan, I forbid you to put sickness on me in the name of Jesus. So every time you forbid, heaven is your backup because it's already been bound. Now, ha? Truly, I tell you, whatever you forbid and declare to be improper and unlawful on earth must be what is already forbidden in heaven. So every time luck comes on you, luck, sickness, anything that is forbidden in heaven, anything that the devil throws at you, I bind you in the name of Jesus. You have no right in my body. You have no right in my life. In Jesus' name. Diba? This, this should be... Kailangan panghawakan natin ito, tayuan natin ito, eto tayo. Wala na siyang magagawa sa atin. James 4.8, resist the devil and he will flee in agony. Kumakaripas ang takbo yan. Pagka alam mo kung sino ka in Christ, pagka alam mo kung anong authority mo. Kaya lang nakakagalaw yan, kapag medyo hindi mo alam, oh teka, pwede ba ito, pwede ba yan? Kailangan alam natin kung ano yung forbidden, kung ano yung bawal, at kung ano yung allowed. Ano yung sa heaven, para alam mo ngayon natin kung ano yung ginagawa natin dito sa earth. Amen. So, ibig sabihin niyan, hindi na ako magpapauto sa mga bato ng kalaban. Talo na siya. Amen. Itong ganda rito. And whatever you permit and declare proper and lawful on earth must be what is already permitted in heaven. So, now this we declare that by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. I lose this in my life. Amen. That is what we do. I declare that by the word of God that all my needs are already supplied. I lose this in my life in Jesus' name. Ito mga ito, you need to have a revelation of this na yung authority natin nandyan. In order to live it, you have to believe it. Sabi nga sa Mark 9 kanina, di ba? You just have to believe. Huwag mong itanong kung kaya. Kaya. Yes. Pinigay na sa atin eh. Amen? So itong Matthew 18, 18 na ito, kaya gusto ko makita nyo ito. Ang sinasabi nito sa atin, we need to put this to heart. Heaven ang backup mo. Whenever you lose and buy Masyado bang malawak kaya pagdating sa losing and binding. I just want to say, ang gusto ko lang sabihin sa inyo ngayon is forbidden na siya rin eh. Kaya forbidden na rin siya rito every time we bind him, every time we cast him out, every time na pinapalayas natin siya, back up natin heaven. Amen? 1 Corinthians 15, 57-58 But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Jesus, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Nasaan si Jesus? Nasa atin. Tinanggap natin. We are victors. Panalo na tayo. Kaya kailangan yan. Asa, hindi, hindi lang isip ko sa sapa buong buo yan kaya mong isigaw kaya mong tayuan kahit ano pang pukol lang kalab kaya mong tayuan panalo ko you have to be able to say this in, in your heart na umaapaw basahin ko sa Tagalog subalit salamat sa Diyos pinagtatagumpay niya tayo sa pamamagitan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo pinagtatagumpay niya tayo. Kaya kung ano man yan kapatid na dinadaanan mo ngayon, na pakiramdam mo na tatalo ka na, kakamali ka. Pagkat sa pamamagitan ni Kristo na nasa iyo nung tinanggap mo siya, pinagtatagumpay ka niya. Amen? Kaya mga kapatid, kung minamahal, magpakatatag kayo. Huwag kayong patitinag kayo'y laging sumagana sa gawain ng Panginoon. Yamang nalalaman ninyo na hindi mawawalan ng saysay ang inyong pagpapagal para sa Panginoon. Amen? Guys, these verses that I've given you, yung binigay kong mga verses at binigay kong salita ng Panginoon sa inyo gabing ito, 
meditate nyo ito. Let the Holy Spirit quicken this into your heart. Because this is what we have in Jesus. Pinagtatagumpay niya tayo. Huwag kang patinag. Amen? He is a rewarder to those who diligently seek Him. Sabi ko sa inyo, hindi mo, hindi, hindi, hindi ma, mapupunta sa wala lahat ng ginagawa ninyo. That is what God is saying to you right now. Kaya kapatid, I just want you to say, panalo ka na. Panalo na ako. Sabi mo sa kalaban yan. Sabi mo rin sa sarili mo yan. Panalo ka na. Amen? That is what I have for you guys tonight. Brother Ron and Brother Eric. Yeah, actually, it's, yeah, the, the, isa sa mga natutunan ko talaga, it's, you learn the truth and stand on it. Kasi, yung mga verses, madami kasi nakita ko, well, kami rin naman, nung may problema, tsaka lumapit at naghalap ng sagot. But, now, you have the chance, huwag mo hintayin kailangan mo, learn to stand sa mga verses na yan. Learn to ano, kasi, alam ko, feeling ko nung may problema, lahat tayo, andyan yung grace ni God. So, para, yung nga, yung, yung, yung 1 Corinthians 10.13 na you can bear para may way out, God will put you there. Pero, pero feeling ko, if you're so long na na Christian, tapos di mo pa rin alam paano lumaban, baga, I'm not sure how you are, hindi naman, hindi sure. I believe yung grace is for nung nag-start. Pero pag tumatagal, parang nagkakaroon ng right na si Satan. So for me, talagang now is the time. Ako mo naisipin yung mga mali dati, ganyan. I have seen, madami yung mali dati, yung mga ano, parang nakadwell pa rin sila sa past. And God knows, okay palpak, okay yun. Pero now is the time na start. So ngayon, okay, nakita mo yung may truth. Nandyan yung ano. So, ano gagawin mo ngayon? Kasi when, when times come na, Satan, adyan, sabi nga ni ano, Peter, di ba? Satan is a roaring lion. Naghahanap sino pwede niya i-debar. So, bakit siya naghahanap ng pwede niya i-debar? Kasi pwede niya gawin. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how the protection of that. Pero ang point doon is pwede niya gawin. Then bakit inalaw ni God? Kasi for me, He gave us all the weapons to fight. So huwag mo hintayin may problema at saka maghahanap. Ano kailangan gawin? Ano kailangan gawin? You learn to stand. Para pag dumating, una muna, pag nakita ka ni, ni Satan, ay parang hindi natin pwede ito. Hanapin natin yung madali. Hanapin natin yung pwede natin galawin. Di ba? May, may narinig nga ako, natawa ko sa amin. Make sure you're not the weakest link sa mga tao sa paligid mo. Para yun ang titirahin ni Satan. Pero it's a joke. Pero mukhang gagawin ni Satan yun. He will attack yung pinamahina. Well, yung malakas yung atakin niya. Pero syempre, di ba? Udahin mo muna yung mga malili. <laughs> yung, mga, yung mga mahina na hindi kaya. And especially learn how to control or how to, parang, huwag kang magkaroon ng fear pag dumating na yung problema. I, I believe, yun yung unang hinahanap ni Satan, yung lion na yun. Di ba, lion, pag nag atak ang unang hinahanap niya yung fear. Naaamoy nila eh. So ngayon palang, learn not to fear. Hindi ka nagugulat sa problema. Kasi pagdating ng problema, alam mo saan ka nakatayo. Alam mo sino yung kakampi mo. Alam mo anong ginawa ni Christ sa iyo. Yun yun eh. The whole preaching ni Pastor Macho, it's about yung panalo dahil kay Christ. So stand in it. Don't wait for, uy, naubos na pera ko, kailangan ko na mag-stand ng prosperity. Uy, no, ano, may sakit na. Ano, anong mga verses kailangan ko i-declare? Di ba? You, baka malusutan mo, ang problema madalas, hindi. Kasi wala na yung faith mo dun eh. At alam ni Satan, sino may faith, sino wala. So ngayon, I think we should all stop. And are you standing? Are you set doon sa gusto? Yung, yung ginawa ni Christ. Kasi doon lang walang panalo. Pag feeling mo, kaya mo, 
mas kaya ka ni Satan. Pero pag feeling mo yung kaya mo, kasi alam mo sino si Christ sa'yo, doon walang galaw si Satan. Diba? The whole verses, ang dami may alam. Ang madalas, na, nakikita ko, pag may problema, bigang titeks, ah, Brother Eric, ano yung verse para sa healing? Sa loob-loob ko, I will give it. Para sa loob-loob ko, baka huli na. Di ba? Kasi ang gulo na ng isip mo, masakit na yung sakit mo, o ano man, yung gastos, yung lahat. So, then, tsaka mag-stand in faith. Like for me, don't stand in faith. Maghanap ka ng taong may faith at magpa-pray na lang. So, ngayon, kung wala kang sakit, wala kang masyadong problema, learn to grow dun sa sino si Christ sa'yo. Para pag dumating yun, patawanan mo na lang. Di ba? So, yun lo. Brother Ron, Amen. Actually, you know, bro, pareho rin yung nag-speak sa akin na verse yung 1 Peter 5.8. You know, the whole time Pastor Macho was preaching. The, it, these are all verses we're familiar with, you know, and, and it's all about enforcing the victory of Christ on the cross. Pero, you know, sobrang na, naging reminder lang sa akin ni Lord yung 1 Peter 5.8. Kasi, yung nga, Satan, he goes around like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Ibig, sabihin, ibig sabihin nun, para ma-devour ka ni Satan, kailangan mong payagan. You have to give Satan permission to devour you. You know? So whether it's an active permission or a passive permission, you still permit. Yung sinasabi nga ni Brother Eric, bakit ganyan? Bakit okay lang, okay lang ba kay God na i-devour tayo? Bakit may capacity si Satan na mag-devour ng tao? Bakit niya kaya? Kasi God already gave you everything, including the victory. Buong preaching ni Pastor Macho, Naka-focus doon sa kung anong binigay ni God sa iyo through Christ. Wala kang excuse na matalo. Wala kang excuse na magbugbog. Wala kang excuse na kawawa ka, na ganito, ganyan, puro tiis. Wala kang excuse kasi binigay na ni God lahat by grace. You know? But but if you don't receive that grace through your faith, your part is faith, God's part is grace. Our part is we receive grace through faith. The diba? Ephesians 2 verse 8 and 9, we are saved by grace through faith. So, yung 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 protection, yung yung strength, yung victory ni ni Christ binigay na. So na sa na yun, but you have to enforce it. And if you're passive, if you choose not to do it, if you don't care about truth, you don't care about the word, you don't care about wala, wala kang pakialam. You're allowing the enemy passively. Wala naman aamin na, eh. pinayagan ko si Satan. Wala naman aamin na, eh. You know? Um, pero passively by ignorance or by not caring or not desiring or not exercising your faith, you are allowing the enemy to devour. Diba? So yun yung, yun yung mahirap eh. Ngayon, mga kapatid, you know, what, what I really wanna, what I want us to focus on is, guys, sobrang bait ni God. Binigay na talaga lahat. Sobra. You know, even, it's not something you earn, it's not something you can perform or di, di mo kaya ikaw eh. Only through Jesus Christ may victory tayo over the enemy, over all the struggles of this world. Yung nga yung ganda rin ng point ni Pastor Macho, yung binding and losing, di ba? Are you exercising that? Bawal yan ah. Yung mga iba na gano'n, brother, ha? pag-pray mo nga si Gato, sabi ko, stand on your authority. I'll pray for you, but you stand on your authority. Dapat bawal yan sa buhay. You choose what you allow and not allow. Hindi puro God allows, God allows. Nene, nene, nene. You, ikaw, ano? Kasi yung authority binigay sa atin through Jesus Christ. Diba? All authority has been given to Jesus Christ. It stands to Jesus Christ. Christ is in us. So we will enforce that authority. Are you going to allow the enemy to steal, kill, and destroy? Or are you going to allow the grace of God to be at work in your life? And 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 I really like yung comment nga ni Brother Eric na sinabi niya, sabi niya, yung mga iba na magte-text last minute, bro, anong verse yung pwede sa ganito? Problema ako eh. Ah, I get you. Kasi ang dami ko rin natatanggap na messages na ganun. And I still answer. Of course I will answer. Of course I will pray for you. Of course I'll, I'll minister to you. Pero at the same time, parang, parang mong sinabing uh, bukas sa sali ako ng competition, magbe-bench press ako ng 800 pounds. Tapos sila mo, oh, kaya mo ba 800? Bakit? Ano bang nabubuhat mo dati? Ah, wala, wala. Bukas pa lang subukan ko. <laughs> diba? Parang eh, de, O sasabihin mo Sasali ka ng boxing World championships Kalaban mo si Manny Pacquiao Nakaboxing ka na ba dati? Hindi 
napapanood ko lang sa TV pero bahala na. Parang, you know what I mean? Guys, you, you can't you can't do that. That's not how it works. God is not your magical genie na, oh Lord, ayusin mo to. Lord, gawin mo yan. Oh Lord, may problema ako bukas. Sik ako ngayon, nasagutin mo ako. No one will admit to doing that. But you know what? That happens so often. Don't be that seasonal Christian. Don't be that insurance policy Christian na pag last minute, oh, teka, may insurance ba ako? Teka, may ganito. Ano bang verse yan? Pahit ka, pahit ka. Baka pwede pang ihabol na ganun. And don't get me wrong. May grace si God. Sobrang bait ni God. Marami na rin ako na witness na ganyan na nakalusot din sila, nakaraos sila. They were able to move forward. Pero ang sa akin lang is hindi God's best yun. Eh. May better na offer si God. May grace siya. Why not grow in grace now? You know what? Before, you know, parang sabi nga Brother Eric, well, three of us here, lahat naman kami sumemplang eh. Lahat naman kami nadapa. Lahat kami nasira buhay namin. Hinanap namin si God and the Lord led us through that wilderness, di ba? One day at a time. And it was really hard. But after that, tinuloy-tuloy namin. Bakit? Because we don't want to be unprepared if something else would happen. So, you know, and, and the three of us here, we still have bad things happen. Kasi bakit? Fallen world tayo. 1 John 5.19. May mga <coughs> pagsubok. May mga gulo. May mga ganitong pangyayari. But kahit na pangit yun, hindi kami mahaalog. Bakit? Kasi lifestyle na namin to. You know? Hindi ko, wala akong pinagmamalaki dito. I'm just trying to say na this should be the attitude of Christians. Na hindi yung kung kailan lang tayo may kailangan, tsaka tayo magsisikin na. The reason why we stand on the word, we exercise our faith, it's like building up muscles. As you stretch it day by day, you strengthen it day by day, unti-unti, and you know, sooner or later, magulat ka, malaki na. Malakas na. So pag dumating yung pagsubok, hindi na ako maalog niyan. Because I know who God is. O maalog man ako niyan, I go right back to the truth of who God is. And I go right back to the truth that I am victorious in Christ. That He has purchased that victory for me. And I am not going to allow the enemy to do anything to be in Jesus' name. I'm not going to allow the enemy to steal, kill, destroy. I forbid that sickness. Yung sabi ni Pastor Matthew, I forbid poverty. I forbid depression. Guys, exercise that authority. Stop being passive. Kung, kung passive ka, uulamin ka ng kalaban. You know, I, I remember you know, sometime last year, tinuro ko to. Sabi ko, Satan is the bully. Sino yung hinahanap ng bully? Yung weak. Yung siga naman, hindi niya bubulihin yung ibang siga. Eh. Hahanapin niya yung madaling bulihin. You know, yung siga, yung bully will always pick on the weak one na hindi pumapalag, na passive, na nakatiklop lang, na parang ganun. Satan is a bully. That's why he's look, looking for who he may devour. Kung papayagan mo siya, kawawa. So brothers and sisters, we cannot be passive. We stand on this truth. I pray that you guys really meditate on these verses and maging totoo sa heart nyo. Huwag lang pag may kailangan. Stand on it day by day. Yun lang. Pastor Macho. Amen. So guys, uh, that is what we have for you guys tonight. And I, I pray na talagang maging totoo sa inyo to. We have the authority. It has been given to us. Si Jesus nasa sa atin. Tayuan lang natin. Panalo na tayo. Amen. So, Brother Ron, ikaw na mag-closing? Sure. Let's pray. Brothers and sisters, I just, I just uh, you know, ngayong gabi, I really pray that you guys agree with me. This prayer, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak life over you. I'm gonna declare victory over you. I want you to agree with me here, because there is power in agreement, ba? And 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 believe this in your heart, and just know in your heart that God has given us this victory through Jesus Christ. Let us pray, Father. We thank you for this evening. We thank you for this message. We thank you for for this reminder, Lord, that 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 we are not fighting to win. We are already fighting from a position of victory. Lord, you know, we will no longer allow the enemy to steal, kill, and destroy. It's not, it is absolutely not true that you allow this, you allow that. No, what you allowed is us, is us to have your grace so that we are victorious. It is our part to enforce that victory, Lord. And today, tonight, we are reminded that we are already victorious in you. We are more than conquerors in you. We are here to reign in life through you, through the power of your Holy Spirit, through the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, Lord. We have all these things, and tonight I declare that, 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 that we are 
victorious and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper because we exercise our authority. We exercise the authority of the name of Jesus tonight. And I declare upon you, I cancel the work of Satan in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I come against the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus, the spirit of fear that is causing anxiety, depression, COVID, anything of that sort, any fear that is there right now, we cancel and uproot and cast out in the name of Jesus. We reject you. We declare that we are covered. You know, we have the blood of Jesus. We are redeemed. We are sanctified. We are whole. We are blameless in our spirit. We are perfect. We are one with the Holy Spirit. And there is no excuse for us to be defeated in this life. We come against the enemy in full force, in the full name of Jesus Christ, Lord, the full power and the extent of that name. And we, we, we declare that he is no longer allowed to devour. He is no longer allowed to try and intimidate us in the name of Jesus. And right now, Lord, I just speak life upon everyone watching. I speak provisions upon those who have black. As we agree in faith that, that, that doors of opportunities will open for them. And it will be undeniable that it is through you and you alone that those provisions came there. I pray, Lord, for those who are are hurting right now. I, I speak comfort and peace and strength over them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that whatever they're going through, I pray that you would embrace them with your love for you are the comforter, Holy Spirit. I speak health and healing upon everyone who has physical challenges right now. We forbid it in the name of Jesus. We bind all sickness and we just, we just let loose of the power of the Holy Spirit upon the lives of every single person watching this. Father, we thank you for this victory today. We declare Satan is defeated and that we are victorious in your son, Jesus Christ. So, Lord, we thank you. We lift this all up to you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. See you on Wednesday. Good night. Good night.